Muhammad Al B, James and Dan's robots, and C D G to the arena, please. And then after that, do we have Flippant, Alexander the All Right, and Gimbal Lock, Underachiever, Hercules 2, and the Great. Hello, welcome. If you're just arriving, you're in the audience. We have lots and lots of seats upstairs for you. You need to go out and back around. There's some seats downstairs, but we have limited space downstairs. Here. There's no sound. Two, one, begin. Well, off goes James and Andrew spinning up. CDG very low to the ground, corralling it and just grabbing hold of it. And unfortunately, Mohammed Al B has speared itself into the wall. Can they free themselves? I don't think they can. They're trying their best, they're wiggling, but there's no real moving. The drill's spinning, but they can't get away. CDG and James and Dan's robot kind of having a cursory dance together. James and Dan's robot trying to free them, but thinks better of it. CDG round the back of James and Dan's robot once again. CDG nudging James and Dan's robot around. Spinning up now. And gives a good collision there on CDG. CDG back to the side again. Keeping out of trouble of that spinning weapon. And now pushing them into the wall. Good attack by CDG in underneath. James and Dan's robot now. James and Dan's robot gets away. CDG chasing it down. Spinning up again is James and Dan's robot. Another good collision on the front. Spinning up to speed now. Now we're getting somewhere. The weapon spinning up quite nicely. CDG has lost the wheel and is now stuck on a seam in the floor. Can they get away? James and Dan's robot is up to speed, but they can't deliver that weapon. CDG spinning in circles. James and Dan's robot towards the pit button, but doesn't go for it. Thinking about it, CDG have now beached themselves on the road wheel. They can't get away. And in my ways, I think James and Dan's robot is going to take the victory and has thrown his weapon right at the end. But it is a win for James and Dan's robot. Well, that's a shame. Unfortunately, we saw that Mohammed LB spear itself into the wall quite early on. Two in the blue square and underachiever towards the pits. One. Big Away game. we go. Good start from Andrew Chiva, spinning up, slowly feeling each other out. Spinning up as it goes. Grave Digger and Hercules come to blow slightly. Now that weapon's up to speed for Andrew Chiva. Can he make contact with anything? Grave Digger, tentative, and that's why he got a good smack there from Andrew Chiva. And again, and the whole top panel has been ripped away. And it's struggling to maneuver. One of the teeth off of Hercules, I think, has gone. Hogan is using those drums very well to hold Underachiever at arm's length and get a direct the weapon of Underachiever into Great who's really, really struggling. Hercules 2 moves away again, trying to get around to the back of Underachiever. Heading towards the pit button, decides against it. Underachiever pushed back into the wall by Hercules and makes contact with the wall. Good aggression from Hercules here, using those front arms to keep them at arm's length and keep them away. Excellent stuff here from Hercules. Are they trying to snag the removable link out of the back? That's very clever if they are. Really doing well to avoid that spinning weapon. Underachiever struggling on one side to translate and now Hercules again using those jaws to just keep them just away. Hercules using the jaw again to keep Underachiever away, that spinning weapon can't really make a decent bite on the grabbing robot, the four-wheel drive machine. Underachiever in the jaws again. Underachiever in underneath now and holding them there. Gets away. Underachiever trying to spin them again, but can't get away from the aggression of Hercules the second. We are going to go to a judge's decision. Four. Three, what kicks down two, between one. Underachiever and Hercules 2. Great fight from the pair of them. Well done. Yes. Can we have Demon Spirits to the ready table, please? Demon Spirits. Thank you. The winner.
was Hercules 2. Congratulations, guys. Well done. Well done. Feeling good about that? I would think so. That's, I did not expect us to win that. I'm going to be honest with you. Well, amazing. Well done, guys. Uh, we'll see you in the next round. And under a team. Three, two, one. Begin. Meanie Mouse up to speed straight away. There's just a pointy three. Key for teeth bravely against that spinner of Meanie Mouse. Mr. Pointy in there as well. Good little gyro turn there from Meanie Mouse. That weapon spinning very well in the middle. Something's come flying off. I don't know what it was. A foam here from Meanie Mouse. Get behind Mr. Pointy, but struggling to get in underneath Mr. Pointy. That's interesting. Key for teeth stuck against the wall. A big little nick there on. Mr. Pointy, Meanie Mouse, oh, the big hit there, I think it was flying up. Oh, we've got some smoke from Keith the T, so we're going to stop the fight very quickly because Keith the T is a bit hot. So we don't know what's happening with Keith the T, but something got a bit hot in there. Slowly smoking away. Trip to the dentist. Trip to the dentist for Keith the T. Oh dear. So the reason we can't open the door currently is because Meanie Mouse is currently still spinning. And we can't actually open the door until <laughs> until it's not spinning, basically. Don't know what's happening. <laughs> Something's Three, happening today. Two. One, one minute twenty of Meanie Mouse and Mr. Pointy three. Back up to speed goes Meanie Mouse's weapon, Mr. Pointy now on top of Meanie Mouse and now the damage is starting to come from Meanie Mouse. The weapon is spinning. Good little spin and turn there, trying to get round to the back of Mr. Pointy. Well driven, Mr. Pointy, so out of trouble. That's not, up and over, turned over, and the link is out, and that is that. Meanie Mouse taking the win, and a good result for them. And once again, I have to wait for the weapon to stop spinning before we can safely open the arena door. Alexander the alright, up to speed, flip out, out of the square, towards Alexander, spinning up, opening his mouth, trying to get underneath. Alexander spinning up, quite nicely, flip out around the back. Didn't get a good connection. Excellent, making a nice noise, Alexander the alright, just juddering around at the moment. Maybe struggling up one side of the drive. Threading the front, you had a few nice little bit of noise there. Something's grinding away. Not quite sure what. Pitch is available. 30 seconds of the device, you can press the pitch button to activate the pitch. Alexander the alright. Not really getting the contact he probably would like on Flip Ant. And now Alexander has stopped. Flip Ant is still moving. Alexander isn't moving. They're High centre, I think, on the scene of the arena. They're away now, just in time. Flip out. Still look, maybe, at the pit road is activated by Alexander the Alright. Flip out trying to get around the back of Alexander. Can't quite grab them. Alexander the Alright's weapon has stopped. The bat is still working. Now the back goes Alexander Sonic. Something's making an awful row inside Alexander the Alright. I'm not quite sure what it is. But it doesn't sound particularly happy. Now it's starting to get up to speed once again. Alexander the Alright's up to speed. Can they get a good connection on Flip and they can't quite? Flip back away again. Round the back, they can smack on the back of Flip and close to the pit. Thinking about taking the big dive and then just doing it in the end. Alexander back up to speed again, Flip Hand very close to the pit, one wheel over, and they go down, yes they are! Flip Hand down the pit, Alexander the alright. In the victory there, it didn't sound too impressed, but it did get the win. <laughs> and we get Cormoran, Big LMD, and Do You Two to the Ready Table, please. Something's happening with the arena thing. I've had some, some gremlins, I don't know what it is, but here we go, three, two, one, begin. 
look at that, straight out of the trap there was Jekyll up to speed is the Compopulator, and now look at this, Hampton Persist trying to use the crush to get through that top plate, and has done so, straight through, look at that, pushing in and puncturing the top armor of the Compopulator, and meanwhile, Jekyll Adon goal hanging the pit button, so this is dog, oh, you better than this, he really is goal hanging the pit. Cannon and Tifa release the cards. So we're going to try and separate them. And Tifa Sis grabbing hold of Confobulator's top and unable to let go. It's very dramatic though. It was a really nice crush on the top, straight through the Polycarb top armor. But look at that, that is wonderful. Straight through the top armor. Bending in all kinds of funky ways. We love to see it. This is what it's all about. A novel idea, a different take on combat robot at this scale. And at the moment, we're just trying to see if we can separate the two or are they just locked together forever. Give it a second. Let's see if Dave can separate them. This is the only problem with the crushing weapon. Sometimes it gets the end. Uh, whatever that could mean. It could mean all sorts of all manner of things, couldn't it? Okay. Room on here. Sound again. Uh, just don't move, don't breathe, nothing. Two, one. Thank you. Declan on straight to the pit button. And pushing all the compopulator on the pit but it skips just about Jekyllodon in underneath and Tinnis is now no, no, no longer with the weapon Jekyllodon trying to get around to the side something's got flying off I think it was a cable tie no it was a belt I think the weapon belt off of compopulator in underneath goes Jekyllodon round the back and Tinnis is in underneath using the force to good advantage. They haven't got the crusher anymore. It did break in that exchange with Compopulator. Round to the side goes Declodon, pushing Compopulator into the corner with Antithesis. Antithesis still being pretty effective without the weapon. They've got the force to them. Declodon trying to get round as well, trying to use their grabbing arm at the front. They also have a very low ground and a very low centre of gravity. Don was saying yesterday, all the way to the bottom of the robot, it struggles to get away. Snagged briefly there on antithesis. Compopulator. Now without weapon, what else has it got? That's another problem they have. As soon as the weapon goes, what can they really do? They have got the forks. Not as much pushing power as something like Decadon, who pushes Compopulator, who is right on the edge and down. And that is the end of Compopulator, and we're down to two, Decadon and Antithesis. Oh, that wants to go good south right there for Antithesis. And we go to the judges between Jekyllodon and Antithesis. Great fight. What have you got going? Let's have a look at the replay. Still closing them down. The chainsaw is off. The demons kill it. Slice that by chain. That's the through the top armor. And there goes spins and needles spinning up the speed. It's cracking up and slicing through chain bastard on top of demon spirit. Chainsaw going through. Slice and a big Spins and Needles, the link has come out of Demon Spirit, that is the end of their fight. Spins and Needles have stopped spinning. And why is that? Chain Bastard hanging off. Chain Bastard is moving back towards the pit. The pit is available. Spins and Needles have stopped moving. Chain Bastard spins up again and slides in through the top. We love to see it. Chain Bastard has, I think, killed it. Is that the end oh of Spins and Needles? Chain Bastard with the Gunners! Oh, we love to see it. That's the first time in Beetle Wings we've had chainsaw damage ever. And it's and it, and it killed two opponents. And it's killed two opponents. Double KO for a chainsaw. Can we get another round of applause for Chain Bastard? 2023. Oh, excellent stuff. See on the replay here, just slicing the top armour off, and I think must have called the link or something in the process. And that was that. Can we see the diagonals? I think we're ready for another fight. Well done, Demon Spirit, for making it to We are back in the arena, and we're back with our regular competitors. The new bracket is up for now. We have Panthor in the arena, from Pussycat style spinner. We have Boring Bot from Alex Shakespeare, and we have uh, Bef 
Fuddle as well. And what a new part of the trees for we might go through Team Mats, Team Monsoon. Anyone else? Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, yes, we've joined us in the with the most boring of robots that is now stuck, <laughs> not doing a whole lot. Stuck in underneath the fuddle. And I think they're stuck in there. I've seen that in the world off, which doesn't go very well. But, uh, Pantle's looking pretty handy, though. They've got the fights. We have an entanglement of some sort. Yeah. Boring, but doesn't look too happy. Alex doesn't look happy. He's shaking his head. <laughs> No drive? The light, the light no, of the boring bot does keep turning on and off, so that's very well for this. The quality of the link in that machine. Um, <laughs> I'll blame the builder. Yeah, you really question the engineering, you know, when you see these things. <laughs> we'll never it. The funnel has been released by boring bots. Well, it wasn't boring bots' choice, I guess, but it's been released. Robot is stand I'm by. Close. How did you read? Something's happening today. I'm playing three. Gareth looks a bit suspicious to me. One. In here. They resume the fight. Boring Bot gets away. The fuzzle hits the pit button. Pat four back up the speed as well. Boring Bot looking a bit more uh, mobile all of a sudden. Absolutely. More agile around the room. And they say that the drive's not set out, but you know, competition's going. It's, it's having a bit of a, a day, isn't it? It's, it's going, going, it's going. Pan 4 spins back up the speed once again. It looks a bit of a pain to control, but it, when it does connect, it does look pretty fun. The funnel is looking slow and steady now. Yeah, the funnel is going to win on the new boring bot once again. Boring bot pushes Pan 4 into the wall. Now, boring bot trying to push the funnel into the weapon of Pan 4. Pan 4 on its side gets back down. The funnel in underneath boring bot. Boring Bot seems to be controlling this fight somewhat, but it seems to be a little dangerous to you at hazard around the pit. Yeah, he, he, he seems desperate to drive down that pit, I wonder if it all cost him. The funnel gently going about its business. Pound 4 has stopped on the arena, it's twitching. But it no translational movement, and that is the end of Pound 4's fight, I think. Boring Bot and Befuddled remain. Boring Bot riding on top of Befuddled. Trying to get it towards the big car, quite do it. Boring Bot struggling to get underneath, having the extra drive power. Simply working around it. And that's the end of the fight. Right. Close fight. How would you do to that, Rory? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, like, the funnel held up you know, pretty well the entire time, it was very controlled, but. Boring Bot did moved a lot more. I think um, more aggressive, certainly. Yes. Towards the end, of, you know, kind of turned it on a bit more. But at the start, you kind of see here, he's struggling to get in underneath quite a lot. The ground. So, but he was meant to run earlier last year, didn't quite manage to get it finished in time. Is now running. One. Begin. And we are away. Kairos. Well, going face to face with Ion. That's brave. The weaponry of Ion up to speed now. Oh, back oh, that absolutely come off of Kairos as well. The wheel guard of Kairos has gone. Ion is up to speed and something's got flying. Oh, yeah. Absolute oh. carnage in the arena. Ion up to speed again. I think Kairos is pinned there, but Baba Yaga, the little mini is getting in underneath Ion. Something is snagged. It looks like the sword is embedded in Ion's wheel. That is free now, but something's... Pippin has been activated. Will Kairos fall into the abyss? Not quite, but I think it is decommissioned nonetheless. Baba Yaga, meanwhile, did an excellent job of just kind of keeping that weapon at bay. I think Kairos' fight might be over, kind of perched on the corner of the pit. Yeah, I think so. Ion trying to get a good purchase on the back of that half of Baba Yaga. It's so close, but it can't. The links. Cable tie has been snapped off, but that mini bot is doing great work. Oh, and so is Ion's weapon oh, no. launching that half of Baba Yaga into the ceiling. Baba Yaga keeping it just at arm's length, he can't quite get a good connection. Now it does. I think the mini bot oh. pushed him into Baba Yaga. <laughs> Go on, mini bot. Oh, he's back on his wheels. Yeah. Good teamwork right there from the Saving mini bot. And Ion being pushed back by the little mini bot. Absolutely MVP of this fight so far. Brilliant stuff. Ion held in the corner. <laughs> I have to say, the bigger half of Baba Yaga is looking a bit worse for where Ion is now released. They have to be held. But straight back underneath. I know. That mini bot has been on it. 
Same as those over separate entry, really. Yeah. <laughs> You've been in the fight. Push back again. That mini bot has been excellent. Baba Yaga's big half limping through the fight, but I have held at bay by the courageous little Baba Yaga mini boss. Fantastic fight there. That was very good. Lots of destruction early on. Kairos kind of got smacked to bits. That mini bot was doing a lot of work in that it fight. It really did. It was like surviving the whole fight working. Let's have a look here. Six, next up. <laughs> Away we go. Big LMD up to speed. Do you two think about an attack? Let's get some sparks. Do you good attack again? Go on, good Jeff driving Andrews. from the place. Getting three fence up, but I do love the spin yeah. bot. Absolutely, and a good smack again from Big L and D. I think he might be stuck in the wall. Or something. Yeah, I think Cormoran is having issues, but it has high centers. Big L and D can get away. Jeff, leave it alone. Ah, uh, it's free. <laughs> oh, do you have stops? Oh, What's happened to do you? Yeah. It was looking so good, and do you? has just decided to, to not anymore. Big LND hits the pit. And that's it. That's the end of the fight. I don't know what happened to try and get that thing down the pit, but I don't know if the next fight. Really <laughs> Big LND with the win. Do you just, uh, just decided to, to not anymore? I don't know what happened. Unfortunately, end for Do you. It's a shame because it was, it was chasing Big LND around quite nicely. It could have been a lot better fight if it uh, stayed going. I don't know what happened. Big in. Contradiction up to speed, grab on and goes straight for it. That feature looks pretty nasty. It does indeed. Contradiction trying to slice in, grab on over holding. On grab on stuck between two drums at the top. It's done, nice place. place to be, and there goes the oh, link on grab on And that's the end of that. Contradiction closing now the angles on poor old Cosmos, kind of left to it really. Has its own drum spin up, but doesn't seem as effective at the moment. Not sure he's still behind, just moving. A little bit of life. Not for long, I think. You can hear Joe counting them out. I think that's the end of the fight. Contradiction. That made it look very easy indeed. Didn't it, it did indeed, yes. Contradiction was very strong there. Contradiction. I don't know if we're really going for a poor old gravel one, although they did. Gravel one did go around and get teamed up on you. It is. Kind of caught between a rock and a hard place, I think. I think so. Brandon Zelinski. Hey, nice to see everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Why are you here? <laughs> uh, my cousin got married on Thursday, and I looked at the schedule and I was like, well, the BBB by. event is on Saturday. I'm not going to not go to that. So. Absolutely. <laughs> In the meantime, we have Samantha Frog in the blue square, Ray in the red square, and sore loser by the big one, and straight over goes Manta Frog. Sore loser, closing the angles down on Manta Frog upside down, Ray keeping a little bit of a watching breeze in the moment. And there's that weapon of sore loser, so dangerous. Ray chasing the Manta Frog down, sore loser, holding Ray in place. The weapon spun up. Is it going to release? No. Weapon stop now. Pit is available. Pit is available. Oh, so oh. There you go. When Saw Loser connects, it really connects. Pit's open. Lancer Frog oh. shut down. Oh. Oh, so Lancer Frog. Wrong place at the wrong time. Absolutely. But look at Ray getting in underneath. Saw Loser. Weapon. Stop for now, so loses forks. The better ground game at the moment. Oh. 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 And you go. Top armor. Okay, for now, the weapon's not spinning on Saw Loser. No, it is not. Now it is. <laughs> it's not looking. I haven't really seen those big hits that Saw Loser's famous for at the moment. It certainly seems like it's uh, going in and out. I don't know if he's doing that intentionally or if he's. Uh, if it's just cutting out. Certainly struggling. Ray, in underneath Saw Loser. Ooh. Tell you what, Saw Loser hasn't really. As he delivered the hits that we expected. Now I said that. Weapon spins up. Now it's now we're going. And will it connect? Is it going to release it? Yes, it is. There you go. Chunk off the top and Saw Loser now pinned against the wall. Ray holding them in there. Very good stuff from from the Ray driver. Nice. Hey. Saw Loser in trouble behind. Oh, something coming out of the bottom of Ray there. Four, I'm not sure. Three, two, we are going to get to a judge's decision though. Something's coming out. 
What a good fight between the two. Excellent fight. I'm really not sure what is coming up with the mouth of Ray. Not sure what that is. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. We do indeed. We have Nitrite in the red square, Bad Rock from the blue, and Aries in the yellow by the pit button. And Aries zipping around to the back of Nitrite. Nitrite in underneath Bad Rock in that corner. Aries, of course, debuted last year at the Raptor event. Struggled throughout, but looks a lot better. This time, Bad Rock with a great super over the top. Brilliant stuff from Bad Rock, smooth as you like. But a big smack in return from Nitrite. Aries in the lead now. This is Nitro in the middle! Out! Great slam there by Aries, and we're down to two. Babrock pushing Aries into the corner. And Aries on the pit. There it is. I think the balls are stuck under the wall briefly, but free now is Aries. The weapon stuck for them now, free. Aries. That big smack has kind of split some of the, eight, the 3D prints. Aries in the lead oh, using the front end. Like can they nudge them back to that pit? They're struggling to. I don't think they can drive either. They've kind of high centered themselves using bad rock and I think they're going to have to stick them. That's a bad pause. Yeah, not, not the greatest place to be, but if your opponent can't push you into the pit from there, then it's close. It could be worse. It could be worse. Shame to see Nitrite go out the way it did, but it was a good slam from Aries to get them out of the arena when they did. Robots are now separated, and the fight will continue in a second. Makes you wonder here if you have two robots that are less destructive, and then big robots spinners, they do work together a little bit to get the more destructive robot out of your way. True. I don't know. Get the big threat out of the way, it's certainly yeah. useful to have. One. Thank you. Babrock back towards the corner, Aries. Stacked to where the bad rock in underneath, can they go do another suplex in that corner? Aries does seem to be struggling a little bit for drive, and bad rock slams it into the rear corner in the blue square. Looks like the drive might be out on Aries. No, I think it's, it's stuck under its forks. Oh, the link's gone. Oh, well, I think that's the end of Aries, is it? I think that's the end. Yeah, I think we're done. Bad rock is your winner. Double nine. Lovely stuff. And a wonderful suplex earlier on as we saw and control the fight from then on in. But nice to see Aries working. You see here Babra of Africa Grabra. Three. To be a fascinating matchup. One. Big game. And away we go. Oh, the undercutter of Bum Bum Bumble up to speed, but Abracadabra fears not. Pinning it in the corner. Turbine trying to get up to speed, does so to some effect. Bum 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 back up to speed again. Abracadabra chasing it down and a big slam there. Off comes that kind of protective wedge panel at the front. Yeah, a little bit of armor coming off there. Oh, a big spark as well. That's the end of that. Armor panels off completely. Yeah. Turbine in trouble as well. They've not really got that weapon into play as they would have liked. Bom 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 bom. Spinning up again. Good slam. More sparks. And again. And again. Africa Grabber absolutely fearless by the looks of it. Just sending their robot into peril by by any accounts. The fact that they can stuff an undercutter and a lifter mechanism into the robot of that size is unbelievable. It's incredibly complicated. There's not much room in there. Lots of spaghetti just squished in. Meanwhile, Turbine sticking in the action. Africa Grabra again, kind of pinning them both together. Good attack again by Bom 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 Bom. Certainly the most destructive of the three. Africa Grabra kind of bent and twisted in a wheel, has gone off Turbine. They're now struggling quite a lot to manoeuvre. Africa Grabra still, how, I mean, it's own personal vendetta against Bomb 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 and turning it over oh. very nicely indeed. Can it right itself? He's got that ear on the lifting arm to do so, but when he's up against the wall, he can't get he's himself really over. Yeah, Henry's really struggling to turn it back over, and a big slam off the wall. Oh, bomb, 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 bomb. Close, close, and down the pit. Excellent Six. driving. Six. From Abra Cabra, and now 
Has, it, has just the fight with Turbine to go. We're going to go to a judge's decision. That was excellent. What a great job. Talk about taking advantage of the opportunities that you're given. Excellent Absolutely. driving. I mean, certainly the most destructive robot in there was bomb, 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 bomb. We saw bits flying all over the place, sparks flying, but excellent driving by Abracadabra to try and pen them in. Well, a point of pen is still going Oh my goodness. Is that really it already? The two robots stuck up and down. Brilliant stuff from Speedy. That's a very quick fight there. That was very quickly done. Very efficient. Taking out some very experienced roboteers there with quite a fairly new Scottish roboteer. So that's really good to see. Excellent stuff. In the meantime, can we get Mother Loader, Igor, Chili Daddy, and Zephyrus to the ready to go? Hello. Hey, Joe. Two. two. One, two, in, and away we go. Yes. Ashton, Justin, and Rudimental go head to head. Yeah, absolutely. Three very, very experienced roboteers here who've iterated on these robots many times. We've oh. had so many versions of Attitude Adjuster, but Attitude Adjuster slamming its spinner into the wall there. EMP in underneath, and just get a good cheeky flick on Attitude Adjuster, and again, Rudimental using its lifter and got a four minute open. As a sort of grabbing device, it's a very, very versatile weapon on the Oh, little, little bit of a flip there for EMP. EMP needs to get away from there quick. The Pitbull is active, he gets away nicely. Astute adjuster. In underneath, rudimental. Oh, spin is back on. Oh, Some lovely hits on the floor, but not on robots, unfortunately, for him there. So far, yeah, he's got a struggle to get a good purchase. He might now, though. He's yeah. spinning up, he's got a hit on the roof. It's nice to see, and the pit has been opened. As a big EMP has now stopped, but and the flipper will not retract. That doesn't look too healthy. And Astrid just uh, pins it against the wall. Does it quite manage to get a good on the Oh, lovely lift there from Rudimental, managing to get Attitude just over, but Attitude just is celebrating pretty much instantly there, really nice to see. Absolutely. EMP kind of carrying oh. a good slam by Attitude Adjuster, that's what we want to see from that kind of weapon. And again, it's some really good control from Attitude Adjuster in the second half of this fight, definitely showing some promise. Oh, oh no. But I spoke it. too soon! It's I, dragged I, Rudimental. I this is what it does! Phoenix Townsend gets the win! A very well-deserved win for the MP there. Uh, actually, I don't really know about that. Absolutely, though. this is what it does. It's illegal. <laughs> Alien. <laughs> what happened there? I think what happened is Rudimental got snagged on Attitude Adjuster's fault, or vice versa. I think it was that way around. Two. One. Yeah. Away we go, ice break up speed and baby drive by a speed of the wedge of ice breaker, the TPE wedge punch it and they cannot separate each other and meanwhile Blast Furnace is just going to come in and hit them and <laughs> use the hammer. Excellent dual weapons on Blast Furnace, I think we're going to have to separate these two because it was, <laughs> it was baby drive by who speared the icebreaker wedge straight through it and kind of got hooked in there. As a result, they are stuck together. I mean, the fight barely got going and we have to already separate them. That's what you get from running fork chain. Well, oh, it has got, it's, it's punched straight through the bottom of icebreaker. Well, Baby drive-by has absolutely speared through Icebreaker, but we have separated them thanks to Dave and Gareth's burliness at the side of the box. They're back in the arena. And we will continue the fight in a second. The Blast Venice a little bit further away from the other two. Baby drive-by and Icebreaker close to the pitch. Stand by. And let's begin the fight in seconds. Three, two, one, begin. Away we go. Ice breaker back at the speed again, zipping around the arena. Baby drive by. Oh, and freaks come flying off of blast I think, I think it was the removal link, and that is 
Glass furnace eliminated and baby drive-by now caught between a rock and a hard place. The corpse of Glass furnace getting in the way. Icebreaker moving a lot nicer around the arena than when I saw it last time. It looks really, really nimble now. The baby drive-by also looks very maneuverable and aggressive. Can baby drive-by get round the back and avoid that big spinning weapon of Icebreaker? Not at the moment. Oh, and that's a big smack there on the already beaten Blast Furnace. And a big slam now on Baby Drive-By. And now in trouble. Icebreaker is the one parrying and pressuring. Baby Drive-By struggling really to kind of get around to the back where it needs to avoid that big weapon on Icebreaker. It's causing all kinds of punishment. Nearly out of the arena, but survives. Surprise, Baby Drive-By hasn't gone for the pit yet, but Icebreaker cutting down all those angles to stop him from doing so. This is really, really well driven by the Icebreaker team. Now the pit button's pressed, but Icebreaker keeping the pressure on. Oh, almost in the pit. Almost in the pit, both of them, but they just survive. Icebreaker dodges. Baby Drive-By down, and that's a win for Icebreaker. Boobs in will be proud. And Icebreaker with the win there, Baby Drive-By ending up in the pits, of course, Glass Furnace all blue. And a little slow spin up to start off with there by Spin Daniel, but now he's up to kick it through the gears, and a big slam on CDT, and again, these two are two university teams, Spins and Needles representing Lufra, and CDG representing Lufra, are they? They are representing Lufra, it's a Lufra derby. And CDG at the moment has got spin the needles held in a little slot gap in the middle. Apparently they wanted to run a spinner in there originally, but that changed to now this kind of awkward jaw, if you like, static jaw. And they're pushing spin the needles towards the pit. They didn't quite time it right though. Spin the needles gets away. That weapon has stopped spinning. CDG. Grabbing a hold of spins and needles. <laughs> They're going to try and sit and spin instead of actually spin up instead. That's a viable tactic with a robot like this. But CDG, spins and needles fits perfectly in that little gap, doesn't it? It's just, just so. CDG closing down all the angles to spins and needles, spins and needles. It's kind of an awkward shape to kind of push around because it's round on the outside. They can push CDG towards the wall. At the moment, struggling to kind of get any purchase on them. The weaponry, obviously, the big factor has been the needles. So it is kind of handicapped and hammerstrung in that sense. CDG pushing all, almost down the pit there. And they're going to try and direct them again. Not quite at the moment, CDG. They've got to be careful not to drive them themselves here. Nine, eight, they are going to go through the super by the looks of it, and the fight ends five, very, very abruptly. Four, three, two, and one. that is that. Between CDG and Spins and Needles. Interesting fight between the two of them, of course. CDG, the weaponless robot, and then obviously Spins and Needles, who have ended up weaponless in the end. So we will uh, hold on with this. Underachiever and Flippants. Underachiever and the blue square. Flippants on the red side. I'm now on the other side of the arena. Flippants and Underachiever. Head to head. Underachiever from Cardiff Uni. Flippants, one of the Bristol contingent here today. Underachiever has that big undercutting weapon. Flippants with that flipping front panel. The green wheels. Underachiever. And they get round the bottom to the damage with their weapon. Pit is available, 30 seconds have passed. Can Underachiever cause the damage that they need? Well, there's a big slam there, bouncing off the front of Flip Hands. In underneath goes Flippant again, trying to turn them over, can't quite manage it. Goodbye. Uh, can we get to the ready table for Fuddle, Turbine, oh. Duya, and Salon Frog? Flippant was pinned against the wall but manages to rescue itself just in time there. The countdown was started by Ref Joe. No Ref Joe. 
Just give me a wink, that's lovely. <laughs> Underachiever, round the back of Flippin' but can't really get that purchase with that spinning weapon that they probably would like. Flip hands, turn it round to the back of themselves and avoid that spinning weapon, maybe try and turn them over and give them a bit more of a hard time. Neither of them have gone for the pit button, which is interesting, with not long left of the fight. Flippant, taking my advice, don't listen to me. <laughs> it's really not a good idea. Oh, and that could be crucial damage. The flipper panel has gone, it's in the pit as well. Uh, <laughs> underachiever, all of a sudden may have just swung the fight in their favour, and that is that, I think. Oh, no, it's not. I'm confused. I think it's because because of the panel gap that is now on Flippant, the the battery is loose. So I think that pretty much ends the fight. Dave is going in there to kind of have a quick look and see what's going on. See if there's anything poking out that shouldn't be. The links are being removed, so I think that is that is that really. That damage could be crucial on Flippant. In the meantime, three, two, one, big game. Away we go. Grave Digger moving towards Gimbal Lock. Gimbal Lock, the square shaped machine with the forks on either side. The Grave Digger with the kind of pointier end at the front. The Grave Digger has that lifting panel to get in and to try and turn Gimbal Lock over if they can. The Grave Digger. Maneuver towards the pit button, which isn't available yet. 30 seconds of the fight haven't passed. Give the lock in underneath. And pinning the Grave Digger against the wall. Now release. Oh, the Grave Digger has speared itself at the wall. And give the lock pressing them into the wall. And they're being counted out because they cannot get away. Give the lock are spinning to win. They think they've won it. Can Grave Digger escape in time? No, they can't. Give the lock from Luckborough go through to the next round. And the Grave Digger is defeated. Pinned against the wall. That's the risky run by running your sharp front end. And that was that. Pushing the machines. Away we go. In underneath goes Grabba Wobber to start off with. Yeah, this will be an interesting battle. You can see Loki with a much wider wedge, but Grabba Wobber has those little forklifts. Now, usually those will win in a head on collision, but it can be very deterministic. But look at that. In underneath goes Loki and grabbing hold of Grabba Wobber, pinching that corner. Can Grabba Wobber get away? Yeah, you can hold for a maximum of 20 seconds, but these are the areas where you can really control an opponent if they can't get out. Absolutely. You just need to hold out that pit button to be and then it could be all over just like that. The pit button is available. Grab a wobber now grabs hold of Loki in response and drags it away. Lovely control here by David. Very dangerous spot for Loki at the moment. If Grab a wobber can still drive, and it looks like they can. And the pit button is pressed. Loki has to be released and has been. Oh, quite close. Okay, wow, that was close for both of all us. Yeah, absolutely. Good control to get away there from Loki just in time. They just managed to hold out for long enough. Loki now in underneath Grabber Wobber. So we might see a reverse of just what we saw here, but it's one thing to get an opponent here in the pit. It's one thing to get one yourself. And they don't want to go yeah. themselves, but how are they going to get Grabber Wobber, Wobber off? Well, like that, but it couldn't Grabber. quite Grabber. deliver it to the pit. Grabber. And now Grabber Wobber underneath. Yeah. Clinging to dear life there, Grabber Wobber, on Loki, and now it's swapped over again. This is going to be a very tough match for the judges if they ha if it comes down to a decision. So far, I think it's kind of 2-3 in favour of Loki for getting in underneath, but Grabber Wobber has got kind of one of its uprights caught under the wedge of Loki. I wonder if that could be difficult to release. Apparently not. There we go. That's all right, and there we can see again. Loki, Loki underneath under. this time. Oh, but it's, ooh. No. Oh, but now Grabber oh, Wobber's no. at the wall. And Loki leaves it alone, oh, yeah. and I wonder if that will be all. Grab all those wheels are spinning. Hey, this is the danger with those wedgelets, they are so easy to get under. A wider wedge ends not to get stuck under as much, and it's cast Grab And that's the end of Grab a Wobber with one second to go, is counted out. I mean, those were two very evenly uh, matched machines. I think it could have been anyone but just in the way it went. Loki, Absolutely. Away we go. Up to speed goes Turbines, lifting the flipper. That's a great attack there by the Fudder. 
Great start from the Fuddle. This is going to be a challenge for Turbine to get around because it's so long and the Fuddle is so small. Yeah, and as well as that, it's, it's a, such a tiny little robot to kind of get around. Like, it's just so nimble and agile. It's going to be a difficult task for Turbine to accomplish, really. I mean, it's at the moment the Fuddle is seemingly controlling the pace. <laughs> Space, but it's incredibly long. It's going to be very hard to turn. Yeah, the funnel reversing back to go in for another attack. Turbine, can they get? They can't really get any purchase on the funnel, can they? The funnel hits the pit button. Going down. Going down. To be fair, the funnel hasn't really used the weapon beyond the first engagement. So at the moment, we're still waiting to see them both come into effect. Absolutely, turbine. Still trying to get round to the side, just can't quite manage it. The Fuddle around the back, a little bit more easy because, as, as Zoe had said, it's a longer robot, it's harder to turn, yeah. especially with the wheels all the way at the back. It's not four wheel drive, so it can't just you know, turn on its own circle. The Fuddle has an interesting choice because they seem to be controlling the fight, but do they want to risk going for the pit, even though they probably could push Turbine? It's still a massive risk to do so. Because you won't fall in yourself. Yeah. We've said that already today. Mm -hmm. The Fuddle trying to get. Far enough underneath to use the weapon, hasn't quite managed it yet. Yeah, turbine is sort of catching the top of the fucking slipper, but just because of the geometry, it's not getting anything. Not snagging quite right. Oh, oh there goes the wheel. Oh. That could be crucial damage later on. The funnel has nudged the wheel yeah. off of Turbine. We saw that wheel go earlier on today. Turbine can still fight, but its Nine, mobility is massively eight, impacted. Seven, and it's so little time for six, it to do anything at this point. Five, yeah, it's stuck against the wall. Three, they can't get away. Two, I think we're going to go to the judges anyway. See. But it may be a formality at this point, I think. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Good, good effort from Turbine. Incredibly unique design. I love the design of it, but I have a feeling. I don't want to, I don't want to influence the judges in any way, but... I think I don't think it's going to go. A fairly one-sided fight, in my opinion. Absolutely. Um, I'm behind the mini bomb. I, I don't know about that. We'll see how well, that pays off for them. Yeah. Two. I don't know any there, but absolutely not. <laughs> it really yeah. was just pushing it into the spinner. Yeah. Outrageous. You can see Knife Rider up to speed already landing a shot. Oh, and is that the end of the big Baba Yaga robot? I think it might be. It's, there's no movement, and the little mini bar is going to fight all by itself. Although Knife Rider is stuck now as well. So, what happened in this situation? Uh, sure, because... and, now the, and now the mini bar stuck. Well, that's it. So, right? So, does Baba Yaga win? Well, it depends on... If the on mini the weights. Yeah, so basically the way these uh, events go is that your minibot, generally you're considered immobilized because of clusters if a certain weight of your uh, robot is no longer moving, no longer mobile. The question here, and what will determine who wins this, is is that minibot for Baba Yaga able to meet that criteria? Uh, I think we need to talk to some of the more technically minded people in we do. Uh, our group. Yes. However, I do just want to say, besides the robot with the previous attack, it was in every square, right? Absolutely. One. Yeah. Away we go, race straight out of the traps, very quick around the arena floor. Yeah, race seems to have the speed advantage, but that cow and Mormon is actually very good, good at corralling like that. And yeah. Ray pushed against the arena wall, Ray underneath now. Yeah, this is, this fight is already not going to what I think many people expected it to go. Especially when Corbin just struggled to get to the start of yeah. <laughs> This is the best it's ever done. I'm just uh, quoting that for the uh, online, online viewing audience so they can hear it there. But generally, Corbin is it's doing really well. Shepherding yeah. Ray into the pit button and yeah. slowly pushing it around. The pit yeah. opens up now. Yeah. Ray will have to be careful. And so will Corbin. Yeah. Very oh. close to the pit. And Ray almost there and again. Ray is around. Corbin in the lead. Yeah. This is, it feels like unless Ray goes head on with the fox head, Corman will just become the angularity of the wedge. Oh, Ray, Ray, Corman, so close to the pit. In underneath goes Ray. Can they just oh, leave him in the pit? Oh, oh my God! Hey, what a move! That's it. Yeah. That's it enough. And Ray is your winner. What a great bit of driving. That, that is as far down the pit as Corman, I think, will go. But they're not able to move. No judge's decision. A very well thought, well deserved win. That was a great either. fight. Wow. I mean, I think, again, a lot closer than what people may have been. Tinesis and Rudimental hooked on one another. Those barbed forks on the front of Antithesis. Yeah, we might need to get to an on. Oh, oh, never mind. 
as we say that. Excellent stuff. A good pass there from Rudimental. Good self right from Antigas. Yeah. So far, good back and forth between the two. The pit is available for yeah. both of them. I mean, when you have robots this fast, you're, you're, the time window to actually use your weapon and attack is tiny. Yeah. So, fair play to both of these Good attack there by Rudimental in a deep oh, oh, look at that. That's the safe spread. That's the crusher in place. Can they drop them in the pit? Uh, very, very close. Rudimental. Oh! They're both in. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! No one touched the floor! But I think. So. I think, oh, no. I mean, wow. How do you call that? <laughs> Judges? I think so. I think there has to be a double knockout. There's confusion between the EO and the, the judges. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well I know I know that in um, that we have certain rules where like if two robots usually go into the pit, it's the aggressor who is considered the victor. However, in this case they both neither of them actually they're kind of fell in. Both, they both kind of just fell in. Yeah, so they're in sort of a uh, Schrodinger's cat position where they're in the pit and they're not in the pit. They're simultaneously in and out of the pit at the same yeah, time. Yeah, I mean for me I would sort of it's, say it's sort of away we go. Demon Spirit has the lance on the near side of Mohammed Al B with the forks at the front and the drill at the rear. In underneath, Demon Spirit goes Mohammed Al B, keeping away, and has now stopped in the middle of the arena. Just some movement, the eyes are weak to get me, but they, no, they've now got going. That's excellent stuff. Can they keep it running, Mohammed Al B? Demon, Demon Spirit are maneuvering towards them, but Mohamed Albi has stopped once again. Pit is available, Mohamed Albi escapes, now in underneath goes Mohamed Albi, not quite avoiding the opponents. Pitburn was almost hit there by Demon Spirit, I think that time it was, and it was indeed. The drill is activated on the back of Mohamed Albi. Can they get away from the arena wall? Can, kind of. Demon Spirit using the fork in underneath Mohamed Albi is now high centred Mohamed Albi. Can they get away from them? The drill is now spinning in the rear. <laughs> Mohamed Albi staying clear of their opponent. Mohamed. Demon Spirit struggling to get towards them. So far, not a lot of action between the two. I, I, I wouldn't want to be a judge for this one. I really wouldn't be. I, I sympathise these three. Unless Mohamed Albi decides enough's enough that just drives down the pit and decide against that. Oh, for a, for a second I thought it was going to happen. Demon spirits slowly moving towards them, creeping, creeping, Mohammed RB. Not the most mobile around the not quite doing the damage they would have hoped with that rear mountain drill. Mohammed RB stops again. Is there any movement in there? And that's the end of the fight. Good luck, judges. That was a tough one to call. Two minute fireies in the blue square and Kairos in the red square. I got it right. I'm so proud of myself. We'll make you proud of themselves. Aries straight underneath there, zipping around. Now Kairos getting in underneath Aries. There was also a mini bot on the. Kairos team, the little red minibots, driven by Becca of Abba Grabra. In goes Ares, in underneath, haven't seen the flipper yet, now we do, nice little flip there, stuck under the wall, but it's away, Kairos trying to get into the action as well, the minibot kind of shunted away there by Ares, Ares taking a lot of inspiration from Toxin, but oh dearie me, and they've stuck themselves on the wall and sparks fly. From Kairos, the pit burn activated. Ares gets away though, just about. Ares in underneath, can they turn Kairos over? They don't. That mini bot proving a nuisance, opening the pit burn, and once again, the forks of Ares under the wall and sniping the link, maybe. Can they get the removal link? They can slice through the tyre of Ares. The forks buried under the arena wall. Kairos coming in again, but Ares just about gets away in time. Ares trying to get to the front of Kairos. Kairos up against the arena wall. Can Ares knock them out? Not quite. 
Damage has been sustained by Ares. In a leave Ares again. Zip it around quite nice, but not really effectively using the... Oh, the smoke! There is smoke from Kairos, the arena has been... The fire has been stopped. Smoke from Kairos's main robot there. Hopefully we'll find out one that is a little bit later on, but a smoky end to Kairos. Something's gone. A bit smoky, but a round of applause please for our team to put up a good fight to tell them what we've got to see. A brilliant few attacks from Kairos before it caught a oh, I don't know if caught a light which is smoking. Now, in this situation normally, the fight would be over, I think. However, I think mm -hmm. whenever Henry comes up in his, in his office, really, unconventional activates. So, so both weapons up to speed, or one is a bit of struck and prepared for. I see fun, 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 has the rule, the lifter, presumably because Pandora is actually very capable of reaching that lifter. Absolutely, and also if you turn it over, Pandora is now up to speed. Struggles a bit, but a good initial impact from Bum 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 Bum. And a good attack from Pandora. It is a bell top, and who is it off? I think it might be off Bum 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 Bum, and now they are weaponless. I don't know, he wants to get the lifter now, yeah. Henry Strang. It had two I mean, my mom and my help back in the game. Why are you giving a hand to my mom? And a great hit there from Pablo. Oh, it's been there. It's been there. It's been there. Apparently. It's been there. It's been there. I don't think it's completely over for my mom and my If they can get the hit open, they might be able to go. But in terms of damage. Pablo isn't really a strong pushing robot. It's a struggle to the guy in the boats. Two hits, yeah. and Pandora's weapon has stuck. Uh, and it is slowly potentially going to have something again. Slightly up the middle, but it's catching all the passion there. Yeah, Pandora is a very dense robot, so one of them hit could be some of the smoke you just saw on the final fight there. Because there was a lot of stuff in there, but it's very thick armor as well. And you see that one piece of plastic, excellent design, really interesting. Oh, the weapon seems to be Right. Yeah. 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 Over and out before we got to 
bring it, see what it's doing right now, we'll see again. And it's completely a gift flow as well. A lot of verses will be popping around, a lot of up, so yeah. Is that the end of that? I think Cosmos has had enough, his throw stands up, and that is the end of the fight. But what a spectacular fight! That's the reason why you have the Benjamin here. You can have some of the scariest robots in this part of the line. Absolutely, do. I mean, that's the whole strategy and sound too Absolutely. Away we go. Keep the teeth and maybe drive by. You know, and the hook inside. I hope you've got a couple of things I'll get later on. This is going to be most of the fight out of the field. I think it's going to be quite easy to keep the feet. Uh, you want to buy it? I'll buy it. Chopping down the lifter. I saw that. Yeah, I don't know if Shane has an orthodontist license there. Uh, yeah, it's not. He needs to wear. There's a roof now. I don't see that. He's got to let go at some point. This one might be it. Well, this one might be it. He's too good to resist it. He doesn't understand it because. You know, ultimately, they can't beat each other. Maybe the drive is very much hooked in there. A great view of the people here. Yeah. Yeah. That was easy, wasn't it? Some of the other sticks that I've taken, you know, quite a while ago, this one was nice and easy. You're a professional. You do. David, is that professional? Yeah, that's like that. Already started. I'm not going to say that you can use the sensor. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, Gets around the side of it, you don't like. I mean, it, it, it could be an effective dust pan actually getting blown by, but I mean, the guy on the same He's very good. I mean, he, he doesn't, you know, he won two championships last year, it's shame. Maybe more, I can't remember. But yeah. He got slowly up to the final of another, and right now we're seeing that driving prowess in action. He yeah. underneath goes down the drive by, trying to leave the road to keep the teeth, but he gets to the side nicely, and now he's underneath the drive by. Yeah. I mean, he Definitely going up a good fight here. Um, and as you can see, just constantly baby driving by, able to get around. Able to get around. Able to get around. Really nice to go there by saying, maneuvering a little bit, just gently feeding the lifter in, as opposed to just sending it straight up like the first time. Baby driving by pushing Keith and Keith into the blue square. Now cooking them again, I think, maybe. Yeah. Not a huge amount of time to go yet. Could this be a pin, or is Shane going to play for the purpose? I'm not sure. Keith and Keith! Another great hit there from Attitude Adjust, trying to get in underneath the Combobulator with its forks. The Combobulator also spinning up the speed. Oh, oh, a great oh, attack! Oh, oh, and a spear through the top armour, and I think, can Attitude Adjust to free itself? I don't think it can. Uh, I think we all we have a tap. Rob, the judge next to me, has just told me that's exactly the same place where Combobulator got punctured earlier <laughs> by Antithesis. Oh really? Oh okay, so the robot has been knocked out. The Compopulator has been eliminated with that one shot from Astute Adjuster. So Astute Adjuster wins. Congratulations to Scott and the team. Well done. What a great attack that was. Straight through the mid and puncturing something on the inside. I mean, you watch it on the replay here. It's just in the blue square. Oh, away we go. Oh, look at the net. Oh, beautifully done by Blastface. And this boy's 
from Jeff there, you can see. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. And now lock themselves together. Oh, no. Okay. They're free. The last card is, every robot they build, the James built, always has a little bit of orange on it. This is time as they struck to the rear end to help itself right. Here's the point key. I mean, they're the guys, they have so much character. They do, and they've improved every single time they've come back as their third iteration of Mr. 20. By far the most impressive in terms of competitiveness. It's wonderful to see the evolution of that team. I will say it off the moment, it's quite close, but Max Furness has scored hits with both of its weapons. That's very hard to have to do. Now, it has just been on the arena wall. Now, we saw Max Furness free. Mr. Pointy earlier, I think they're going to try and turn the favour, and they do excellent sportsmanship there. Plus, Mr. Pointy, you can really do. Mr. Pointy, coming mean, round to the side, is struggling to do so. Rasper is well controlled with both front forks. Oh, beautiful girl! Beautiful girl, Peter. And Rasper, two redemptions and winning their fight, their excellent fight. And with that, we have now finished. So we will end the round of 32. Which is not going to lose. Let's get up before that to me. Yeah, hang on. Hang on, stop. So what's the name of us? Underachievers span up before that to make the game. So we're going to have to restart the fight there. That's one strike for underachiever. Don't do that again. <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. Both weapons spinning up slowly. James and Dan's robot with a big smack on the front of Underachiever now returning the favour. Underachiever trying to get to the side of Dan and James. Is it James and Dan's or James and Dan's one? I should get that the right way around really. Turn over. There's some foam all over the floor. I wonder what's happened there. Underachiever trying to get around to the back. There's a removal that's out of the back of James and Dan's one. Pit enabled. Pit is available, 30 seconds to pass. And James Tanto won't have bail from the pits. The weapon isn't working, whereas Underachiever still is. The old Heepo down the pit is always a viable option if you're struggling for damage points. Underachiever trying to get around to the back and does so. Underachiever. The weapon is now stopped on Underachiever. Not back at the speed it goes. James and Tanto's robots. At the rear of a receiver. A receiver trying to manoeuvre up to try and hit those deals with that spinner if they can do so. So far, looking pretty good for a receiver, they're not still running. And a big slam there and up goes the whole wheel of James and Dan's robot, and they will really struggle for maneuverability now. It's a big ask for them to come back from this point, but you never know straight if it's how it happens. Underachiever, and they roll out to the back again, and does hit them again. Careful of that hit, it is a warning hazard. Got one left, oh! Underachiever, oh! They bounce off! And then the dance robots will progress to the round of 16 for Bristol Uni. Underachiever bouncing off. Down the pits. Oh dear, again. I did say it'd be a big ass to recover from there, but they did. Two, one. It's off and underway. Alexander the other way up to speed. Struggled to do so this first time. It was making a lot of. It's like it was down game versus pure weapon power here. Yeah? I've got a little bit of a fork set up on the front, says Alexander, but not very much. Oh, didn't quite make contact there with the shell of. Gimbal Lock, who is running this away. Is I don't know though, because the weapon doesn't look particularly friendly on Alexander the Alright. It's mounted quite high, but even then it can feel uh, oh, that. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, the top. Oh, 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 oh,
pushing the back of Alexander Neal right, trying to get some kind of person sneaking the back of him, making a hell of a noise. Oh. Oh. Off comes one of the centre forwards on Gimbal Box, real cycling. You're only getting up to speed now. Absolutely, now it's now ready for the noise, and a nice little racket. Pitburn is pressed by Gimbal Lock. In underneath goes Gimbal Lock, pushing Alexander back, and it's a little bit of a hit there. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Really, really, Trevor, a team from Lockwood goes through with Gimbal Lock. Cruised around the 16. Fantastic driving. Really, really well done. That's a smooth way down the top, dude. Good job. He's the only thing he's really get pressed on the field, but he's going for it. He really is, he's sending it, he's looking at that straight through the top of his hand. Not quite managing to get any sensitive parts yet of CDG. Lovely activation for the top of... Oh, he backed up on the wheels. Absolutely. Jane Bastard. Oh, we can get the edge there. Slicing in May, can he get it? He's trying it. Yeah. Pete is available. Just, just struggling to do so, not really getting the, the purchase required. Always getting the wheels there. Yeah. A little nick out. Oh. Close again. Got to catch the baby in the cabin. Gun down. Pips. There goes the pips. There's no really tasty bit to grab onto that sword. There's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no catch point. There's a few at the back. They can't quite reach down the lower. Yeah. Can't quite get around the back to get those wheels. The angle isn't quite right, is it? Jane Bastard pushing back once again. CDG. Do you think it's got a keeping Jane Bastard at home? It is. There's kind of almost well, gap in the middle. And now, now in that kind of little opening in the middle where they wanted to have a spinner originally, they've kind of got it caught in there. Do a little slice again. Jane Bastard really trying to get. Through the top, they, they struggled to do so with the ease they did in the opening rounds. That left hand wheel took a bit more rough, but it's still, it's still functioning as a wheel. Something's cutting, I don't know what it is, but something's going through. A few slices appearing. Straight in the battery there, <laughs> top plate doing a job of keeping it Playing absolute room left with top plate. He's got a good cut there. Not long left in the fight, I think he's going to go to the judges. A good fight between the two. A round of applause, please, for Stephen Dewey and Ken Bastard. Uh, tough one to call for the yeah. I mean, I was going to say, the control of the CPT was very good, and they were very aggressive, pushing it back a lot, but obviously the damage may be a big factor. Activate. So, with Bubble with the wedge, saw loser with that big overhead spinner. Great start by the funnel, trying to get in underneath and throw, saw loser straight out. I mean, what way the weapon so far hasn't been spinning? I wonder if he's just saying it for later. I wonder. Keeping it in weight. Saw loser so far has also struggled to get in underneath. Oh, that is a big gash out the front, was it? I didn't see. Maybe not. A bit, a bit dense. Oh, there you go. Now Saw loser up to speed and bringing the weapon into play. And turn down and again. This is the Saw loser. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Saw loser. Oh. Very well done by the first one. So it's a big slap by the loser. This button is activated. So a loser bouncing around. Not really any place of control, but certainly uh, damage in the game. Yeah. I'm sure the pit button was pressed there, but I don't know if I, I must have been sure. I don't know what. So a loser. He's trying to get in underneath the button, which yeah. I'm surprised at. Very, very fun. Yonder. The pit button was activated, is now on the ground. Yonder. So a loser. And as a result, deliver that really perfect shot to befuddle. A very impressive on the driving of the fun as well. Really getting into the hard time. Sword is bouncing about all over the place. It's a little unstable, but getting the job done. It's so dangerous, you can't get it over. It's a big weapon. It really is. So terrifying. Oh, this looks risky. Befuddle. Very risky. Meanwhile, having a great old time. Oh, oh so close to the pit. And oh, just this game. Yeah. Well driven. By the funnel driver, saw the things up again, standing into the floor, over it goes again, stuck on its side, can't quite get back over, but funnel here has got a few seconds to make it to a very, very firm and good position. Saw the struggle, one, really get a hold of this fight, and it was a very, very firm one to make it. Another tough call. I wouldn't want to be a judge for that one. Yeah, judges, I wouldn't want to be a judge. Absolutely not. I'll tell you what, credit to, that's 
absolutely massive credit to the funnel guys. I thought I did that off by we do. Mohammed LB in the red square and Hercules 2 from Bournemouth University in the blue square. Mohammed LB. Statuesque at the moment. Ah, uh, it's unfortunate. It seems to have got either stuck or just lacking in drive power. The weapon on the back is still moving away. Moving again. Oh, Hercules 3. Pips in the arena. And they've got a good crowd hold. He seems to be struggling for even ground clearance and more weapons got drive power. Not sure what it is. Hercules is all of them. Hercules, you can get the B web there. They're very good keyboard sticks, aren't they? Maybe some good around with them. Hercules 2. Something around quite nicely. Mohammed Al B hugging the wall and now being hugged in turn by Hercules 2. This is available for those who want it. Hercules circling Mohammed Al B. Mohammed Al B drilling into the wall there. <laughs> trying, to find a, it's a trying to find its way out, I think. <laughs> Mohamed LB. Hello. Hello. Can I think Wheels are spinning. Wheels are spinning. It just doesn't have perks in front there. No, not quite. Set up Let's get going again. Sometimes we just kind of ground out a little bit, pushed into the corner by Hercules 2. Hercules trying to get around to the front and grab a hold of them. Doesn't quite get the pit button. Yeah, I'm close though. Get back up. Yeah, I think so. Going down. It's going down. Yeah. It's going down. Really nice. Great maneuvering there. Just escapes though. Nine. Last few seconds eight, of the fight. Seven. Are we going to see someone end up in the pits? Four. Three. Two. Five and LB. Still in the fight. We're judging the decision against Hopefully the Sioux. Another jump isn't there. I know, the lead works hard now. The judges don't have to do much for a while. But that did work hard now. <laughs> Seeing him, Hercules just kind of grabbing hold, delivering behind LP around the area. Why is there a proper grip of him? In the meantime, can we get Meaty Mouse and Bark Blast Furnace to the uh, ready table? This guy is blue. This is going to be an explosive fight potentially. Pouring him straight across the arena. He's rolling speed, spinning up as well. A big step on Pouring Bart. Can they sell Yes, they can. Away they go. Boring Bot trying to get underneath the front of Gizmo there, but Gizmo just getting in the best force. Boring Bot, very maneuverable, very quick. Boring Bot definitely has the drive power advantage there, using that. Look at that. But the weapon power up the front. Any mistake, Gizmo gets straight on the lead. Oh! I thought it was going out, but it wasn't quite out. And as that caused problems for Boring Bot, I think it might have done. The side of driver's gone. Crab walking his way into that pit button. He's burned. Trying to get back in there and cause more damage. In underneath. Boring Bot close the pit. Oh, oh close the pit. But no life from Boring Bot no now. Lights are on, but no one's home. And that is it. Gizmo is going to go through, I think, to the round of 16. And a solid effort from Boring Bot. Good fight. But Gizmo goes through to the next round. Boring Bot at least, from a glance, seems to have escaped relatively unscathed, but uh, there's something to happen. It's like it may not have done. Oh, okay. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. So, both were able to circle each other, trying to get under each other. Bit of a gentle start here. It's a good grab on there for Decalodon. Definitely the robots are circling each other, no real aggression. Pits now available for the team. You guys are pretty even on the team. Definitely all about that. Let me do a very good job here of keeping in front of them or out of the way of the arm, I just said. Hadn't taken a single major after you've got to be struggling to get that arm safe. Oh. 
Duck in there, yeah, like it's something it. snagged in there. I don't know what it was. Meanie Mouse pushed back by Blast Furnace. You know, underneath goes Blast Furnace. Ooh, Meanie Mouse is stopped Mouse completely. Is stopped dead. There's nothing, no life from Meanie Mouse. Uh, oh, he's back. And he's back. Well, Will is all in control with the move on, and it just suddenly kicked back into life. What happened there? Who knows, but this fight is still back on. It is. The weapon isn't going anymore, but both of them are still driving. Yep, still going. Meanie Mouse pushing Blast Furnace back against the wall, releasing as he is required to do by the rules. That's pinned someone there for 10 seconds. Blast Furnace swinging the wrist for them. Meanie Mouse zipping about very nicely, it has to be said. Meanie Mouse is a nicely built robot. It really is. And can they push Ooh. Blast Furnace out of the arena? It's close. Dangerously close there. Meanie definitely Mouse. scoring points if nothing else. No. Ooh. And then I was going to leave them there. Stuck, and they, free itself. They're trying, they're swinging the hammer. Is there any life left in Blast Furnace? There's not. Yeah, it looks, ooh. And me, no. Like yeah. I think yeah. Meanie Mouse just gets rid because Blast Furnace was counted out in time. And that's the end of Blast Furnace. Well, very unlucky. Meanie Mouse getting a lucky win there with his robot bringing back into life halfway through the fight. Relief has come to you early on, and I'm sure Two. you'll do an excellent job in this One. fight. Sorry for cursing you, away we go. <laughs> Ray straight across the box to try and get in and leave. Look at Bad Rock. Two speedy control box here. Yeah. Absolutely. We saw Bad Rock earlier on do a fantastic suplex. Can it do it again? In underneath it goes and turning Ray over, stuck on the wall. The wall there, is it going to get down? Oh, excellent sportsmanship from Bad Rock, freeing Ray yes. from the arena wall. You'd love to see it. You do in underneath. Did Owen try and release Ray to try and get that suplex? I know that's what he likes to do. Pitch enabled. Bad Rock pushing Bad Rock. really aggressive. Strongest fight and pushing him around. And has hooked way. the chassis of Ray. The pit has been pressed. This is down. lovely stuff. Bad pit's Rock. The pit's going to go. Can they get Ray off the floor? They, well, they can't. But Ray's in the pit. But there's no doubt about that. And Bad Rock through to yet another round of 16 for Owen. Third one in a row. He's, uh, he's delighted with that one. A worthy winner. Very strong showing there. Yeah. It really was. I mean, just, you know, he could have won the fight earlier. But he freed him from the wall. Very respectful. Sorry. Iron in the red one. square and Aries in the blue. Aries has had a few technical problems. Apparently, according to Morgan's head. Yes, I was moving, so. Big sparks off the front of Ares, two very beautifully designed machines. There's long tendril forks at the front. Oh, a big slam there. Ion. It's Stop. still going. That left hand drive is a little bit funky. Oh, but... And now Ares has picked us up and called. Can it free itself? It's time he's trying, he's trying, he has. Well done to Hop and just picked itself straight back in there. Prince, can I Oh, Sean. Can Ion wiggle itself free from this mess? He's trying. Oh, there he is. Oh, dear. That's the end of it. We've said about spearing the wall before. Ion's drive still struggling there, but 
just enough in there to give him the win. Yeah. Oh, well, sometimes you're going to take it, you're going to win Burton sometimes. It was unfortunately a bit, you know, Aaron just kind of speared himself into the wall, but in the red square, Speedy in the blue square. Away we go, good spin up from Speedy. Wow, there's a lot of noise from that robot. Making a lot of noise, rudimental bouncing around, bouncing off that front egg beater weapon, which is And now less to noise as the weapon is ground to halt. And the robot is ground to halt, and they are stuck together. I don't think they're going to be able to free each other. I can see one wheel moving, two wheel moving, but two yeah. wheels across two robots does not make fun of the Another one stick. Separate the robots. Oh, it's still spinning. Wait for so the weapon to spin down. I wonder if the weapon belt has come off on spinning. There we go. Door is open. We will unhook Rudimental like so. Yep, there you can see the weapon belt has gone. Oh, that's unfortunate. On speed. That's why all that noise just suddenly stops yes. in the arena. It's been very impressive for a brief moment. Yep. Um, but it has an uphill battle now. Really does. Rudimental is well driven. Robot here. Stand by. Lovely, lovely fluid motion on that weapon at the front. Three. Let's see how it goes. One. Activate. We are away once again. As we can see, no weapon there on Speeny. The forks of rudimental now. Getting yeah. in there and doing their job. Absolutely. Do what it needs to do. Hook that belt off of the pulleys and flip oh. over. Speeny, can they get them out of the arena? There's a real prime opportunity here for rudimental. Doesn't need to. He just needs to wedge them against the wall and keep him there. They can do. Are they going to go for the coup de grace? Surely they're going to leave him. Yeah, he's left him rudimental. Beautiful card. Uh, this is going to be with sometimes best to go for the safe bet. And just to take the uh, slightly easier win rather than trying to finish the win. Yeah. It's um, true. It's lovely, you know, brilliant driving. I think we well did that in the first round. Three, two, one, good game. Straight out of the trap, that never ground, but straight yeah, across the arena. Brilliantly done. One of the horns of the string mech though has gone. It could be potentially an issue if they get turned over. But look at Abra Great job. Leaving up by the wheel. Fabulous driving again. Not the first time they've done it either. Abra Grabra. Really managed to keep them at arm's length there. Away from that weapon as much as possible. Yep. Count has been done for the pin. They're allowed 10 seconds. Abra a few hits now it's from Nitrite. The drive seems to be struggling a little bit. Oh, oh smoke! smoke. That's a nightmare. Who's that smoke from? It stops. I think it, I think it was just a motor controller. The, uh, the smoke seems to have stopped. What's happened there? Just, I think we're just going to send it. Folks. It looks like a motor controller, so it looks like we may be able to resume this fight. We didn't see. Uh, uh, time on the clock is 1.08. No, it's 1.25. Okay. Let's try and work out how long the fight actually lasts. It was, it was a night try that left out the smoke according to the, the live stream. Thank you, Thomas Yao. Hope you're doing well. Missing Deja too. Well, something went in the arena. Really. Looked pretty dramatic. Just trying to reset this fight, just so we can uh, get it. So, was the active? I think it was. Three. And the fight was resumed Two. between Nitro and Amber and Grabber, and we didn't see Did what you. was the damage. <laughs> it was like it might have been Nitro's weapon. Oh, oh yeah. The pit is reascending. I don't think it was open. Nitrite has now got no weapon. Abracadabra. Looking a little bit limp there. Yeah, lost the wheel, I think. But still good. Still able to move. Nitrite trying to push Abracadabra around. Both robots a little bit more sluggish than they were at the start of the fight. But Abracadabra, of course, had that brilliant lift at the start. Can they get in underneath again and turn them over? And there goes a wheel. Oh, that's definitely... Uh... And it hit the pit button. It hit the pit button, what a good shot. <laughs> Try doing that again. Abracadabra, now 
the mount both robots in a yeah. crab walking battle. This is. Uh... Oh, and the high center briefly, and high centered again. Nitrite, one wheel off Should the ground. Should be the end. Abracadabra. It's going to leave them there. Sensible, I think. And that is the end of Nitrite's run. A worthy winner there. I think so strong to do that. Part. That brilliant lift, hooking the wheel, beautifully done. And I said to Nitrite out in the round of 32. That big weapon, we didn't really get to see much of it because. Weapon that... down, wheel down. Yes. Yeah. Good driving flight at the stake. Away we go. Straight. Bounced off each other in the middle of the arena there. EMP in a bit of a turnover, but maybe be drive by straight away. Great control there for EMP. Looking yeah, much more like Yeah, but now maybe drive by him underneath. The ground game battle will ebb and flow between the two. Maybe drive by does have those forks, so should have the advantage of the ground game, but EMP still managing to. It's driving a lot better than it did last time. Maybe, maybe drive seems to have some trouble here getting uh, in the control. I think there's a cut out there usually. I think there's a little nick in the floor there. EMP escapes the pit. The pit burn was activated by baby drive by. EMP certainly have to avoid that. Going down. EMP. Oh, dangerous there. Oh, dangerous. Oh, oh it's baited him in. That was tactical from Phoenix. I know it was. I'm sure he'll claim it was afterwards as well. EMP <laughs> trying to get round to the back of baby. Oh, I like oh, that. Good and there. turn him over. Well recovered, Shane. Really good driving here on both sides. Brilliant stuff. This is what you want to see. Oh, it's a risky one. Maybe drive by looking EMP. Can they guide them towards the pit? Oh. It's a difficult ask. Oh, not quite. Well, we're coming. Hooked now, though, by Baby Drive. Can by he do it again? Can he do it again? Yes, yes, he can. Oh, almost down the pit as well, Baby Drive by. Great recovery from both. This is excellent stuff. Two master craftsmen at work. Baby Drive by again underneath, but EMP is just a slippery little customer. Can't get rid of it. Baby drive by. Going around the side again, starting to get a bit of a stranglehold on the fight. Like EMP needs to turn EMP it on his trying head. He's trying to get back underneath Baby Driver here, but those forks that Baby Driver are doing their job. EMP is just a, it's a difficult one to beat. Oh, and again, driving so much better than he did in the Nine. first fight. It looks like we're going to go to a decision. There's only a few seconds left. Four seconds, three, two, one. And cease. Wow, that was it. What a great fight. A round of applause, please, for both the drivers. Here's a good drive on both the drivers. Shane oh, driving, maybe drive by. <laughs> Felix driving in. Shane looks exhausted. The longest two minutes of his life. That was a tough match. <laughs> in the arena, we have uh, Icebreaker and Loki. And in the arena, we have Owen joining the on commentary again from Bad Rock. Yeah, I left my kind of monster here last time, so I'm back to get it. <laughs> anyway, here we have it. Oh, Loki. Oh, Loki. Well, that is, well, well, well. That was Icebreaker cool. so manoeuvrable around the arena, and Loki didn't stand the chance at the end. Pumped it out of the arena, and that's the end of that. Yeah, I think I was talking more about my drink than talking about the fight. That was the round of 32 One. continues. Big Contradiction big. and Panthor, Panthor straight across the box. Yeah, here we have it. Not spinning up, though. Oh, the big hit there from Contradiction. Off goes one of the wheels of Panthor. What can Panthor do yeah, to avoid that attack? If they're upside down, it's a problem. But for now, they're landing the right side up. Oh, I say that. Oh. Well, the famous oh. phrase for Pussycat was it always lands on its feet. So far, so good. Yeah, and Until it, then. Yeah, it's been defeated. Yeah, there's no feet on that cap anymore. Oh, it's brutal attacks from Contradiction. And there we have it. Contradiction. Systematic. Stylish and through to the round of 16. For contradiction, brutal attacks and a, a brilliant performance. <laughs> you have the power. I'm also too lazy to. Oh, no, hair dressing, hair anyway, Lance big, big LD and Sir Lancer Frog in the arena. Lancer Frog oh. charges down Big LD. Yeah. Big effort, effort for Lancer Frog after that. This is a very robust though from the defense from Sir Lancer Frog in underneath Big LD trying to use the.
big LND's weapon against it like that. Deflect them over and out of the arena is, the, I think, the big plan here. LND has so much energy in our weapon. But, but it has lost a weapon belt, and it's not spinning oh. as well as it should be. And now this is Salanta Fox's chance to capitalise. Yeah, this is looking very good for Salanta Fox. It's so smooth as it moves around the arena as well. Beautiful. I mean, it's just, it's experience, it's tuning the drive, and, I mean, you can see here, like this, very little LND could do. Not impossible, but... This it's a, a big ass now, they haven't got that enormous weapon at the front. So Lanterfog chasing and harrying as it's wont to do, it never gives up. Yeah. Well, they've, they've weathered the storm, they've taken the damage, it's still functional. Um, but, there's, but there's a lot to go, there's half of the fight still to happen. And, yeah. you know, anything can happen when you've got a hole that size in the arena. Absolutely, but Nick just needs to take his time and not rush it, just kind of guide. But oh! or just do nothing, and let big LNT drive down himself. So that's the frog wins. Yeah, the froggy chair, too intimidating for big, big LND. Yeah, there's been a price hike over at uh, Tom Nook's, yeah. and yeah. big LND couldn't pay the price. Yeah. As a result, that means so that's the frog progresses through to the round of 16. Yeah, that's a very fun. Yeah. In the arena now, Hercules 2 and James and Dan Robots. Away we go, totally stretched. That oh, is the best in span of all yes. day, James. James and that's a scary spin up. Look, the four underneath. Look at that. That's what I did. He was so scared. One, one, you wonder if, if they ran the James and Dan robot upside down, it might be able to get the forks, but it can. Look at that. It's, that's incredible. It's incredible. <laughs> Underneath the spinner, they're gonna hit the robot and they're gonna struggle with that because we've seen Hercules 2 X yeah. drivers throughout this and have not really given anyone a chance. This is gonna be a very interesting one. Long thing how long Hercules can control and push James and Dan's Steady at the moment, they're both interlocked. Yeah, I, I think they can release this is very much a stamp made at this point. It really is. Can Hercules? It's going to have some point right now. Oh, this is, it's, it's like, it's, I don't know how to describe it, it's, it's the anticipation of something happening. Well, at the moment, we are going to do an unstick. Hercules, as we've seen, can put those prongs right into the weapon system and cannot get hit. Excellent stuff. Yeah, it's, Very it's good for Hercules, but it's also not really able to move James and Dan's robot around too much. So this, this fight isn't over yet. I mean, Hercules needs to get the near range. Yeah. And, you know, one hit, I mean, obviously the, the bottom of the arms are low, but the wheels are not. So there is still a massive risk for Hercules here. Absolutely. Yeah. The pitch is, of course, available now as well. Okay, two robots that are made for each other now. It's just, it's just meant to be. This just couldn't quite. It's really interesting. Watch that nature documentary here. <laughs> what nature documentaries are you watching? Yeah. Irish ones. Irish ones are a bunch of books, you know? Three. Here we go then. Two. One. Three. Uh, up to speed again. James and Dan's robot. Can they get a call? Oh, it's closer. Weapon slowed down. Has it lost its blade? No, it's no. not. But once again, or maybe it has lost its blade. It's slower. And now Hercules, I mean, this what is, will they do? It's looking very good for Hercules now at this point. It Not is. No, as we've seen earlier, the fights can change very, very quickly. Hercules is playing this conservatively enough, I'd say. Yeah. Going for the pin, which is probably smart. There's not really a huge amount of risk. No, no, to be fair, they keep it running. I mean, they're, they're still running for me, their weapons still running, uh, whereas James and Android one is not. Yeah, that will count against them. I think mean, it goes to the judges. Total aggression is still a factor to consider. There is some damage on the forks of Hercules, um, but you have to say they've been controlling this fight outside of that. Yeah. Well, this is slowing down. We are indeed. So this one is going to go to the judges. It's certainly a bit of a slower fight than the three, but there is a lot to talk about here. There is indeed. Go to the judges between Hercules and James and Dan's Roybot, the two uni teams, Bournemouth University and Bristol University. Very well controlled box. It's a chainsaw. It has got a chainsaw, but it has been pushed back 
by Gimbal Lock. The chainsaw comes down, and that's slicing in on top of Gimbal Lock. He's been very impressed with his chainsaw. Yeah, Gimbal Lock has already lost the court. Uh, it has. It does seem to have a pushing power advantage. Of course, when like pushing the chain master, it means it can be stable. Uh, Chain Bastard yeah, yeah. Chain releases this out the pit button has been activated by Gimbal Lock and down comes the chainsaw once again. I'd say the wheel could be the main target. I mean, you can scratch the aluminium, but I mean, are, is it aluminium or steel? I can't tell. I'm not sure scores or something. Chain Bastard is doing damage, but it's mostly because it's automatic, isn't it? Yeah, and Gimbal Lock is controlling the fight here. It has lost that fork though on Gimbal Lock, so that will count against it. I mean, that could be a strategy, it'll be hard to position, certainly. Gimbal Lock keeps pushing them against the wall and pushing them in place. It's a good strategy, waste of time. There we go. Gimbal Lock releases. Chain Bastard back up to here again, and now Chain Bastard springs the weapon down on top. It looks to a lot of You can see it there, trip tray the tyres. Lovely stuff. I mean, Gimbal Lock, it's. It's so well armored. This is the ultimate opponent for Chain Bastard. Yeah, the point that we didn't really know we needed, but the point that we got nonetheless. See here, next to the big button. I mean, Gimbalock is not risking anything. They're holding them. And no, that kind of one's here. Very well controlled by Gimbalock, I have to say. The round of fight have been very aggressive. They've kept them in the face of Chain Bastard. Chain Bastard's using its weapon to great effect. Yeah. I think it is going to go to a decision. Yeah, this is a very conscious decision by Gimbalock to hold Chain Bastard in place. Yeah, absolutely. Eight seconds to go. Seven, six. Any last stitch damage for either yes. team? Chain Master brings the sword back in on the top again. But it is going to go to a judge's decision between Chain Master and Google Lock. Give a round of applause for all these. Yeah, absolutely. Two university teams. Yeah, and I, I have to say, I mean, I was here last year, uh, 2022. The quality of the university teams, massive improvement from last year, absolutely. I have to say. Gimbal training are already in the arena for our next round of 16 fights. Attitude adjuster in the blue square, Meany Mouse, now covered in pink tape. And that sounds a much more ferocious weapon than before. And a, a drive side has got complete good attitude adjuster. Sliced away, and Meany Mouse with the front panel up as well, the wheels are going to fly. Attitude adjuster responds in turn, a big slam up top. What can Meany Mouse do to escape? They have done, but they've stopped in place. They did this earlier on in the competition. They've lost the drive side. They hope they could. And they just have pushed against the wall. Meany Mouse stops again. Um, can they get themselves away? Meany Mouse has stopped. Actually, just an is still in the field. And they're going to unstick the two. That was explosive stuff, wasn't it? Meany Mouse ripping the whole side panel off of Actually, just that but has got a high set to that student just there, which can still move currently, if he not, could not. But... Now, what, what's going to happen now? Will that student just be able to recover? Will Meany Mouse be working correctly? The fight will reinvent with a minute and 15 to go, just over half the fight. Three, two, one. Oh, let's go. Astrid Justin is moving, Meany Mouse is not. And they're being counted out. Astrid Justin is still working and will, by the looks of things, recover. I think so, they're being counted out. And that is the end of Meany Mouse. Astrid Justin goes through the round of eight. And I think it's a shame because Meany Mouse, that was his best fight so far, but unfortunately he wasn't able to see it through to the end. A win for Ashley Justin. <laughs> and we have Gizmo in the red square. Two, one, activate. Away, we go both up to speed and they go to the start. The impact of the start. Contradiction upside down. And they don't need to play. It's not like that. They can't. They've got to get away from that. Oh! Still running for now. Gizmo is trying to break the cars of contradiction. Still running for fairly badly. Oh! 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 Oh!
This time a sore loser, but maybe that's their confidence he's got the ground game. Bad Rock, you know, the sore loser on this occasion. Weapon spinning, but look at Bad Rock, no fear. Twice played as the Verdun, and he is now. Fifth available. Bad Rock picks him out. Oh! And he just dips it into the wedge. Is sore loser trying to go with Bad Rock pushing? They have to push it. Bad Rock will be wary of that happening again. Don't want it to happen too many times. Bad Rock trying to slip round the back of Saw Loser. Oh, Saw Loser in underneath. Restraint with that weapon so far. It is so deadly when it's used in the aggressive manner. But look at Bad Rock like that! Great attack. So quick around the arena floor. Bad Rock when it wants to be. Saw Loser swinging a miss on its side. Yep, Saw Loser now holds it in the corner. That's more like it. That's why they want to deliver the weapon like that. Didn't really seem to have made that block too much though. Lots of heavy armour on the front of Battle Down. I'm pretty sure he's not too fussed about taking those hits. Although I do think it has lost a side of drive on that right hand side. Bad will have to be careful now. Oh, he's a bit sluggish. Sore loser. Wow, oh, that was really mm, a bit easy hit, was it? Yeah. This could be more than hit. There you go. There you go. Much better. Clutched in there. Look at that. I think that's Bad Rock out for the count. Oh, dearie me. It's such a shame. Bad Rock's such a formidable opponent. Such but, a good run. But falling at the stage, fighting Saw Loser, I think. Saw Loser oh, pushing the carcass of Bad Rock. Will it make it down the pit? Four Slowly, inexorably, no, to the pit. Bad. All over for Bad Rock. Saw Loser through to the roundabout. Both robots. Two brilliant teams there. I mean, that was absolutely good. You know, it's going to be good when they actually try a run. Yeah, it's so just it's straight out of the power traps. Absolutely. One. Away we go. Maybe not away. No hesitation there from Ruben Mantle. I've got the early exchanges right on the ground game. Now pushing. Definitely with a reach point there. Lovely little pop. Lovely little flick over there by Ruben Mantle. And he's driving it back against the inner wall. Baby drive punch stuck in the wall. Can they get out? Ruben Mantle with a nice little nudge there. Fair play to the Ruben Mantle driver in underneath. Goes the again. Really well driven by Rudimental. Really well driven by Rudimental. Tip by the as well. So far, you have to say, Bailey Driveway is struggling to get a grip at this guy. Rudimental really is delivering the same strategy but better. It's very, very interesting to watch. Rudimental then beneath again. Rudimental is some really sometimes overwhelming amount of speed. Absolutely. Good speed again by Rudy. This is excellent stuff. They were trying by really holding on though, doing incredibly well. It is. Rudy Mental. Ooh, carefully does it. Rudy Mental. He rounds the side of Baby Drive by. He doesn't leave again, turning it over. Great it. driving once again. Can got it careful here. Baby Drive by. Is there any life in that machine? There is. Oh! But the, but the weapon is snagging. It's not driving upside down. Pressing up against the base like that. Little nudge again. Oh! Rudimental by the pit. Can they get them down? They're so close. Oh! Oh! oh so nervous he wants that KO. They just get it. And maybe drive by. Trying to sell the right. Can't rise itself. Now does. Turn straight back over by Rudimental. Brilliant driving by Rudimental. I think has dominated the fight for about 10 seconds left. So what can Baby Drive-By do? 
And I think that's just very much more. Oh. And almost in the pit again. Oh, I'm so close. And it just goes on judges. Just about. The baby girl going in the pits at the end of the fight. That was excellent. Well done for dear life there. Brilliant stuff. Like, completely in our place. Thinking of this. <laughs> Oh, absolutely playing so sure. That way you go. Oh, great impact to start off by Byron. And again. So that was just over again. Oh, is that the end of the match? Oh, it is. No Nothing left for so that to fly. I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, so I don't know what happened there for Black and Fly, but this last very long. Byron. Absolutely brutal. I mean, Ion just, when it turns out, I went for an Ion's, it's another one of those robots that has got just progressively better and better. The fights are getting shorter and shorter. Square, Abra, Kegra, Abra, in the big square. So just, just about one. Just about. Big game. Away we go. Weapon spins up for Icebreaker, but right punctured by Abra, Kegra, Abra, Sport, and it's happened for the second time today. It looks like it's punched. Oh! Freeze itself. Oh, the big slam by Icebreaker. And again, wedge is off. Well, he is bent. Stuck against the wall. Can they get down? Yes, they can. Oh, that was one of the evasive panels on the top of the back of Abra Kagra. Is that any? Well, it is, but it is being counted out. They can't write themselves like that. And it's such a shame that it's going so well for Abra Kagra. And that is it. But it's a win for Icebreaker. It is doing well again. Oh, no nonsense, I got in there and got stuck in. Oh, there's a little bit. It was that first initial impact where that one was. It is, so you're not going to be able to see it. Here we go then. Oh, the last square. Where are these two? Where are these two? Away we go. I want to see you. Yeah, because I'm... I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah, there was Hercules 2. And again, I want to come around to look at that corner. Still going to stay too far. Yeah, so good for Lily. Oh, you say that now, and then hands back for Lily, too. I was kind of confused. It's quite a little short, it's a little short. It's good to see her, but it's not good to see her. It's very impressive. I don't know what to see, but something isn't happening. It's kind of shut down. It's all the news out. Away we go. Tentative start for both of them there, but here we go, Solinger. Shoves them around and into the wall. The weapon spins up, and Solinger can't come. Oh, and they crunch into the top. Big dead by Solinger. Off goes one side of the fort. They won't find that. Oh, another big impact on the top there. Oh, give it a lot. Solinger spins up once again. Oh, another big impact. Yeah, good way 360 there. Pitch the game on that side, we're going to hit two down, so we're going to have this, oh, another big impact. Caving in the student machine. Still going though. Faster, Alex. No, it's still going. So we'll lose that. Oh! Beautiful down. They're still trying. I think it gives them a lot. I think they've had enough. And I don't think it's a lot. So we'll lose that for losing the round of four. I think the great performance by people are kind of exceptional today. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful.
Now from where? Oh, oh, the break oh, oh, His bow is starting to peel away at that point. Oh! Spear is up against the wall. It isn't ideal for the ice blade. trying to circle around the back of Gizmo. Those balls have been so, so effective. Gizmo jarring over there. Need to watch that. Ice blade again. Up and down. Oh, nearly out there. Nearly hit on as well. Ice blade needs to start recovering. Otherwise, it's going to be in trouble. Gizmo is going to be completely in trouble. Oh, God. Hit now in breath. We can get that side working with this one. I don't know whether the CSE or we have awards for fourth and third place. We have awards for fourth and third place. So, our fourth place competitor, Milo. Hello, everyone. This is the Gareth Anstey Award <laughs> for fourth place. Commemorate all of those who come fourth place, and it goes to okay. Icebreaker. So, that's Icebreaker 4, and third place, Alex Mordu and Saunders. It was one of the third place playoffs of all time. It really was. <laughs> but let's try another one. Yes. Can we have Gizmo and I on to the arena, please? Woo! <laughs> Two minutes. Two minutes. Wow. Talk amongst yourselves. Sam, is there a song? I on in the blue to go for maximum weapon engagements. They shake hands, they're both ready. We're the good to go. Time. We're both here. We are finally yeah. underway. The 2023 Three. 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 Spectacular hits and Gizmo has won. <laughs> well done. I mean, it's it's a shame it ended like that quickly in the end, but what a way to drive it. Oh, it's massively destructive. I mean, you know, very, very tentative that material. I'm hoping that that was worth waiting. Oh, Can you enjoy that, audience? Mother Loader going at it. Chili Daddy, I think, has smacked one of the tracks on Mother Loader. Chili Daddy. 
I think he's the only one moving three out of the four. I'm <laughs> just sitting on top of Mother Loader. These are all of our reserve robots for today. If anyone couldn't have made it, then these are who would be competing. But I think Tina Gabby is going to end up possibly with the win here because I think Mother Loader is finished. And I think that is that. It's a shame he kind of ended so quickly. Zephyrus going out, but Chili Daddy is your winner. Well done, Chili Daddy. With a very quick win there. Um, just quickly, if you're in the audience and you just joined us, if there are loads of seats upstairs, we, we have to ask you can't block any of the uh, walkways that have been marked with tape on the floor. So please do not stand there, and please do not stand in front of the arena because it blocks the audience as well. We want everyone to be able to see. The sun is in the blue square. We have bomb, 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 bomb by the pit button nice. and grab a wobber by the pit. Away we go. Up to speed. Oh, oh it's something gone flying fly. off of Cormoran. The whole shell of Cormoran yeah. has been ripped away and the compopulator smacks it away as well. Good. Yeah. Horizontal and vertical heads are always going to be nasty. Grab a wobber, grab hold of Cormoran. There's Bon 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 spinning up once again. It looks dangerous. Getting itself reacquainted, you can see gravel water on Corman. The combobulator seems to be swiveling getting its weapon up, so I like to see just what's going on. Spark flying off the arena from Bomb 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 Bomb. Gravel Wobber doesn't fear that. Over goes Bomb 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 now. But it is an over I think Bomb 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 is being seen as the primary target of Gravel Wobber, the most dangerous robot. Let him go! Zipping sideways, I don't know how he did that. Just incredible. Gravel Wobber, brilliant driving, and down the pit goes Bomb 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 Bomb. Oh, oh no! And Gravel Wobbers oh, no. just died in the process? Oh, what happens? Oh, no, he, 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 dropped, he dropped his transmitter. And the, that is a lot of emotions going on. Corman's stuck in itself. What's happening? I'm, I'm confused. The, the compopulator now being grabbed by Gravel Wobber, as its name suggests. Great counter from Gravel Wobber. I mean, Corman's really not in the pit, it's just blocking the pit now. So. Must be using some kind of mirror coat yeah. over the pit there, Gravel Wobber. I don't think you've ever seen a pit become a It's its shadow tag, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so no one that's going in the pit now, so Grabber Robber and the Commodulator, it's an even fight. Suffering amnesia is Grabber Wobber trying Robert. to go back down the pit as well. He seems to be trying to go into the pit. I'm just so confused. What's happening? This I mean, is a very large Explain, explain fight. it to me. Yeah. The Commodulator is trying to spin. Yeah. Grabber Wobber chasing that, yeah. harrying and Grabber pushing. Robert. You're not going to get yeah. that in the pit, David. Just give it up. Yeah, it's not going to go anywhere. I mean, it's is blocking it. I mean, there's 10 seconds to go. Thank God, I'm going to lose my mind otherwise. I, I mean, how do you call this one? It's I really mean, Gravel Wobber must have been the aggressor throughout, I think. Yeah. It's a brilliant fight. A round of applause for all 14. That was excellent. Oh my goodness. Well, normally we go to the judges for robots for fights that go to two minutes. However, as you know, it's a whiteboard. Normally we ask the audience who they thought won. Activate. Away we go. Checking the mini bot over is Baba Yaga there. It's friendly fire. Maybe they're going against each other as well. Maybe that's the point here. Chucky, but it's Flipper. Turned itself over itself quite very quickly. There was the little mini bot there too. There's so much stuff happening at this point. Shocky taking up to Baba Yaga and then Mr. Pumpty in there as well. Shocky turns it over and itself runs away. It's so quick. It, it, it has the same motor as his icebreakers. You can see it there as it has sort of left there. Mr. Pumpty stuck into the wall. I think that could be the end of their fight. Yeah, that's their free for my summer. I think that's it. Pitbone yeah. was pressed there by Cosmos V2. Baba Yaga still going out. We haven't heard the siren go out yet. So I don't think the Pitbone's speech is the time for it. Yeah, uh, just now it has been Cosmos very tough underneath the pit button. Cosmos, very long. Oh, so close. How'd you get out of there, Cosmos? What can Tidey do? He can escape just about. Very nice situation for sure, but he's managed it. Well driven. Yeah. There you go, Chucky. Arguably, it's Chucky and Baba Yaga for me at this point. Cosmos is still in this one, though. Absolutely, it is. Chucky stuck on top of Cosmos now, pushed back into that corner, and now riding on top of Cosmos. The speed, though, I mean, Baba Yaga's lifter is a lot faster than it looks. It is a proper lifter, I'd say. It really is. Chucky retreats to the centre of the arena and goes back in for both of them.
That's how we make a change. That's a strategy. That's a strategy right there. Shucky getting in underneath, pushing Baba Yaga down the pit, and then deciding, no, do you know what? I've had to join it in. And they're down. Let's right, go down. We are crazy. Flapping its doors, away we go. And this is straight out of the out of the tracks. <laughs> and flips, both flippants. Not completely open. And now crushing down. Oh, down the other. Is he going to get it? It's the anticipation that kills you. It's that slow, but menacing. Yeah. Mohammed Al B. Stop moving, by the way, the drill's not spinning. No. Oh, I like Flippant lifting it up. Oh, the face of Flippant's gone. It's fallen away. Great Zinger having a little interaction with Mohammed Al B. And down comes the crusher. There we go. Crushing the front end of the Great Zinger. Right in the wheels. But Flippant has pushed them over the pit. Are they going to go down? Yes, they can. The great digger in the pit, pushed there by Flippant. Antithesis. Oh, Flippant wants to join the grave digger. Will they go down? No, they want more punishment. Down comes the crusher. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Down goes the crusher. It's going in the pit, you can see it. Come on, Jeff. Oh, that's it. And Mohammed Al a little cursory class to keep it out of the way, get that to it to play. There's Flippant coming in from Mohamed Al-B. There is Antithesis in there, and Mohamed Al-B stuck on top of Flippant, delivered to the pit. Oh, they're going to go down? No, they're going to away. And once again, Antithesis crumbling down smooth and menacing on top of Mohamed Al-B. As it starts to pierce the top of that lock. As it got through the top of the lock, I can't tell if it does. Ten seconds to go, and we are going to go to a decision between these three, I think. Admiring his work. Absolutely. And there's going to be a crowd vote as well, because as we know, it is a one more fight. We have three survivors. Which means we're going to win. Well, let's go to our audience. If you think that Flippers won with the green wheels, give us a shout. Okay. There's a big cheer there. There was some, yeah. If you think Mohammed Al B won, if the strikes give him a shout. Yeah. That's a big cheer. That's a big one. And if you think Antithesis won with the cross there, give us a shout. Yeah. What do you think this? I'll let you decide. I think the winner's got to be the B. Yeah, Mohammed Al B is the winner. Up to speed goes the spinner of the Chili Daddy. In underneath, Tamamano May. Spin to needle has not got out of its box. Alexander the Almighty now up to speed. In underneath goes, well, the Chili Daddy. Oh, the big impact on the side of that wheel that's slicing through Tamamano May's wheels. That was what side that was hit on Alexander the All Right has now died and on another impact, I think that's the other one gone too. No, both wheels have stopped, the weapon is going to be moving and Tamara Bo May taking a big hit to the face from Chili Daddy. Chili Daddy, oh, that's an impact! Chili Daddy is very spicy, this is a 5 out of 5 performance. Oh, all over the place! Chili Daddy, ferocious in the arena. Weapon stops, back up to speed once again, and another big impact on Tamanamo May. Can they keep going? No, they can't anymore. Chili Daddy has decimated the lot. Very spicy from Chili Daddy. A round of applause, please. Certainly going to be a tough fight in the arena. Keep your eyes on the front of the American next year for that one. That was a spice. That was my spice. Hopefully, we'll see that, that performance. Over. Here's the action as well. Oh, it's a 4 bar lift. 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 It's the only one. 
coming on. The wheel oh. takes the team, the team and the team themselves getting oh, so oh, shredded. I think the link is gone. Oh, oh, the team, the team. So the wheel though. Strategy to get the weapon of an home. Got a postcard. Keep the seat very oh, open. Now, and we see another wheel. I think. Drive now, Zephyrus. Boring pop. Major pop. Oh, beautiful. It's a team for them. The weapon of boring pop is the capital team. Zephyrus is the best of boring pop team. It all picked off, and that's why we love Zephyrus. Yeah. All of the cameras. Pure cameras in control. That's the best of all. It's lovely on the replay. It's not just me pulling around my boring block, but the wheel comes flying off for no more. In the arena, now spins and needles, CDG, and Flash Man is out on the tree to end this round. Hello. I'm mean, here. Yeah. I don't know what the robots are. I like the big spinning one. That is spinning so and needles. Nice. A Flash Man is very nice. I mean, it, it's on two legs. It's not two hours. It's two hours. Uh, because they're using an electric scooter rather than a motor. That's the problem. 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 That's the Glassburn is putting them in the corner. It's funny we call the crap ball. It's funny we move side to side, don't they? Move side to side. Yeah. I've been really inspired by this one, by the way, with Glassburn. Oh, that's lovely. I would like to see the rebel actually crap ball. Oh, that's, that's what I'm going to be doing, isn't it? You never really see it sort of just get up and go. Glassburn's not here. Glassburn is putting the CDG in the corner. Oh, nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Smacked about. Do you two? What's happening with Do you two? They're just shaking to death. Big LD hits the pit button. Do you two? He's on the pit. Jeff has accepted his fate. And down goes the pit. That is that. Big LD, the winner. That was chaotic. What the hell happened there? Wow. That's, that, that was a fight. Oh. I mean, let's look at the replay. I mean, oh, yeah. Big LD. 
they smack in. It's really hit him hard. Look at it. It's yeah, when it works, it's terrifying. Isn't and then it did the thing with the pit. And the
Okay. We have our best in show awards, which you know, kind of get into the Royal Box that made it go as far as the white the competition for we feel should have been rewarded as a result. So, as soon as that them, we'll start reading them out. Okay, for a jump on. Okay. We have some awards for the night. Our best in show awards. Okay, so, okay, do you want to come around there? Hello. Do you want to come around and sit down? <laughs> How are you doing, Sam? Oh, look at We have got our best show awards now, right? So, what award have we got first? So, my first award that I'm giving out today is the uh, best newcomer okay. from BGB. And we have decided that this today is going to Ray. Um, we also had um, an inter-uni competition going on as part of today. These uni peeps have come from all over the country to Bristol to fight against other unis. Um, they were all awesome. We loved you very much. Thank you for coming. It's an honour to have you all. But there were two that got to the quarterfinals and then got destroyed by the tryhards over this side of the room. So big up to those people. Uh, that is Gimbal Lock and Hercules from Bournemouth and from Edgerton. Loughborough, 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 uh, come and get your beer mats. <laughs> That's a shame. Unfortunately, Cardiff Uni and Portland Uni have gone. So, next up, we have the crowd favourites. And I think we can all agree there was only going to be one winner for this one. A big round of applause, please, for Mohammed Albi. Watch it find some arena. And that today goes to Chain Bastard. Chain Bastard. I'm going to move the mic to the judges. Uh, Judge Rob. Hello, Mr. Sam. Hello. I'm, I'm not doing too badly. You're not? Okay, so um, the next award, this one is for the best paint job. This one is consistently the best paint job, so it should be no surprise that it goes to Sir Lancer Frog. Design. I think the most argued about design in the world I can remember us doing. And it has gone to Hanthor. Thank 
First person I want to see is a certain Andy Russell, who fought tooth and nail, along with Ellis and Rory and several others to get this thing back in the arena. Can we have a massive round of applause for our second place winner, Ion? Um, yeah, to be honest, I always knew that you were going to be Um I've been looking to when you get the hits on me. Um, so for the next time, we'll see you. Yeah, I'm glad I got it. Well, not really, like, we, as in Rory and Rory and Rory and Rory to get it working. And then we'll see you for the But yeah, yeah, so it's a bit of a Let's see this thing back soon, yeah? Massive round of applause for Ion, everyone, our second place. And to the mix of the spoils, a piece of acrylic. To Ellis Ware with Gizmo. Your BDD Beacon Wall 2023 champion. How do you feel? I never win these things. Nah, that's, I mean, honestly, I, mean, I totally did not expect to get uh, anyone near that team from competition, and honestly, you couldn't write this any better, because Andy and Kate Lynn have travelled in with Tori and I today, from Reading, like, we're going home together, we'll be hit bodies, and uh, there's even been a documentary going on the side, like, on the time of both of us, so, like, for us to end up in the final, and also for two of the drive girls to come drive very well, it's honestly you couldn't script it anymore, um, and this thing is massive, and I don't mean not look at it, but trust me, it's actually massive. Congratulations, Ellis. Give it up again for Gizmo. I hope you've got some good wins. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. That's going to be the Beat to Pool 2023. By the way, you got home. Let's go home. Thank you, Sue. Thank you for that, man. Thank you. Subscribe. Putting stuff in the bins, the bins, the tables, golfs in the bins and stuff over there. Thank you. Bye.